Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today is the YouTubers Weekly Stamping Collaboration. Hosting this week is Patty from Patty's Polish Corner, and the theme is Mardi Gras nails. So on my nails, we have, these are all uh, Sally Hansen Insta Dries. So this one is Go For Gold, and this one, is green apple it's from the jelly belly series and then the, from the crayola series is vivid violet so we're gonna go fairly simple because hubby's waiting for me he wants to watch a movie <laughs> i'm like i gotta do my youtubers <laughs> so um stamping plates i'm going to use first one is maniology m 268 and I think I'm going to use this image here looks very cool and then um, so I'm going to do a reverse stamp and we're going to put it on the gold nail and then on the other ones um, this Queen 45 I'm going to use this image because this one kind of reminds me of um, you know the beads that they put around their necklace, you know, their their necks. I don't know. I've never been to Mardi Gras. No, <laughs> I don't know. So, well, first off, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it using my She Modern Sticky Purple Stamping Polish. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to fill in the spots with the green, and then ho hopefully like the lines will be in gold so i don't know it's just what i'm thinking if it doesn't work then we'll try something else so i'm gonna do that first oh okay so this purple's really nice it's gonna shimmer to it so wow oh crap where am i stamp my scraper So normally I don't scrape more than once, but I wanted to, see that's a crappy, see that's why you don't scrape more than once. <laughs> At least I don't. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to try again. So wait a sec and then try this again. So low and slow. There we go. Oops, that is better. I've got a couple little spots that are okay. I'm just, I tried it again. I'm just gonna go with it. I've got a couple little spots that are not sealed up, but yeah, who cares? Okay, okay. so what I'm gonna do is, actually, what I should do is do like every other one green and then every other one gold. That'll be good. I was gonna do them all green, but I wanna get the gold in there too, so. So let's do this. So, so I'm going to do this first and then we can um, do the other stamping. Now when I am, hopefully I'm in frame, um, I don't put a lot of polish down. Wonder you can still see some of the. Huh. I'm still debating. <laughs> Should I put the gold? Because I can kind of still see the gold. So I don't touch 
the brush on the on the stamper. I just kind of move the polish around. Now I'm going to go with my first instinct and put all the, put all of them being green. They look kind of like that. Purple and the green, and you can probably still see some of the gold through, so all my triangles are. Sometimes I overthink it, and I'm kind of doing it, and I'm like, hmm. This way, I'm just going to go with my first instinct. There. So that should look pretty. Okay, one sec. Okay, so now for these guys, I am going to use Go for Gold. Um, this one does stamp. Um, now, some regular polishes will work. Um, if they're opaque in one coat, they will usually stamp. Um, I know the, the Go for Gold stamps as well as the Silver Stallion, the silver one. That one stamps as well. They're really nice. So, oh, stamper. So, see how nicely it stamps. So, I'm just gonna put that down. See, look how pretty that is. So, I'm just gonna do that for all of them. So I didn't want to do too hard of um, design for this week. Sometimes I go a little overboard. But I think I've done I've used this image before for the Mardi Gras because I don't really have anything for Mardi Gras. <laughs> so I think I had a um a mask but I have to go through my stamping plates again and reorganize them because I had pulled them out of binders and they're all mixed up and I need to organize them better so there and then we'll do my thumb I do love these colors together. They're they're quite gorgeous. I'm just gonna get some off the and making sure that they all go side to side. When you're using regular polishes, though, just to to be warned, they do dry faster than um, than with stamping polish. So you got to move fairly quick. Okay, so now for cleanup, because I have a little bit on my skin, so I just take a piece of tape and then I will go around the edges and then pick up a majority of the polish that I can get off. Um, this way I don't have to use as much acetone. Um, so that really helps. And then you should be able to, once I'm done all this, um, put the argyle on my ring finger. Okay, so let me just finish cleaning up. I'll be right back one moment. Okay, so I have used my Pro FX Sticky Base Coat. I don't believe this one's available anymore. I got it back uh, from Walmart a couple years ago. I think they've stopped carrying Pro FX. Actually, I think Pro FX is gone now. Um, but anyway, uh, Maniology has one. Um, there's quite a few... Um, like indie companies that have them as well so you can always find it i usually wait about 30 seconds or so for it to get tacky 
So now I'm just going to take my image and I'm going to go uh, fairly low so I don't have so much to clean up and that stuck nicely. I really like, oh, that looks good. So I wonder if it probably get the tape. Because the purple is a stamping polish, so it's coming off nicely. I didn't do like a full, full deckle. It just um, the full reverse image. So, oh, I like that. That looks nice. What do you think? And it cleaned up really nice. So I'm kind of glad I just went with. Um, all of the the green because the, um, the gold shines through quite nicely okay so now I'm taking my SC speed setter and we are going to top coat and I'm not gonna worry about it smearing or anything because it shouldn't because I used all regular polishes well not the purple but so oh, I like this one it turned out nice So the purple is a little bit different, um, like it's a little lighter, but that's okay. I still like it. I think it turned out really pretty. So what do you think? I like the Argyle. So I'll do some cleanup and uh, then I will add some cuticle oil and then take some pictures. So I will have um, swatch photos. And um, I will have our collage photo of everybody who participated this week, um, as well as their individual full um, photos. And then I will also have um, the other ladies' um, links to their videos as well. So you can go check out the other ladies. Um, yeah, so that is it for today. Um, that is my Mardi Gras nails. So thanks for hanging out with me while I do my nails. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. So stay tuned for pictures and of course puppies. Okay. I uh, love you guys. And remember, be someone sparkle.
Did he leave you, Pebbles? <laughs> Hello, Pedro. Hello, everybody. Hello, Daisy. She's excited it's bedtime. What? Are you ready for bed? Is it bedtime? <laughs> okay, enough running around. <laughs> the puppies sleep in the kitchen in their beds, but Daisy sleeps with me. Cause she's always slept with me. <laughs> Silly girl.